Chicago sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with another Mismatch Monday. And this Mismatch Monday is going to be the 1977 Texas Rangers visiting the 1977 uh, Milwaukee Brewers. The Brewers in 1977 were 67 and 95 for some reason because they actually have a pretty good lineup. Um, so I'm not exactly sure why they were that bad, but they were. And the Rangers in 1977 were 94 and 68. And we are also going to be using the old school cards. <clears throat> the, uh, you know, this is a, the original issue 1977 set. So let's go through the Rangers lineup, and that's going to be Bump Wills leading off. And then Juan Beniquez will be playing center field and batting second. Batting third will be Toby Hara, who will be playing third base for the Rangers today. Uh, Willie Horton will be the DH today and batting in the cleanup spot. I think that's the cleanup spot. Claude L. Washington will be playing left field, I believe, today for the Rangers. Mike Hargrove will be the first baseman. Jimmy Sundberg will be the catcher. And he was a great defensive catcher. He could hit a little bit, but he was a great defensive catcher. Bert Campanaris will be playing shortstop. And then batting in the last spot and playing right field will be Dave May. And that is the Rangers lineup for today. And they will be facing Larry Sorensen of the Brewers. And uh, there's Larry Sorensen's card. As you can see, in um, 1977, he was, uh, well, I guess you can't see that very well. Um, he was 7 and 10 with a 437 earned run average. Now, maybe the reason that they were so bad was because of their pitching staff. I'm not sure. But anyway. We have our scoreboard here. Now, I did write down the weather effects for this stadium, for County Stadium in 1977, but I don't think weather effects come into play in the old school set. Um, at least I didn't see any, but if we run across them, we will definitely deal with it then. Um, but, and also stealing is, um, there's no holds and there's no getting a lead or anything in this in this set. So the way we'll do stealing is negative three if they're watched and they will everybody will be watched unless I say they're not watched. But negative three for the watch and then the uh, catcher's arm. So uh, that's how we're going to do that. The first batter is of course Bump Wills, and he gets a four eight. He is a switch hitter. Uh, against Sorensen, so he would be batting left. And 4-8 against a left-handed batter is going to be a line-out to shortstop. He just missed getting a single. So he lines out six. Benitez is up. And he gets a 4-9, and he is a righty. And 4-9 on the right against a righty on the righty side is a single. So he gets a hit. There is one down. With a man at first and Toby Hara up. Toby Hara gets a 3-4 against a right-handed pitcher. And that is going to be a fly ball B. That's two away. Fly ball to right. So that's an F9. And Willie Horton is up. And Willie Horton gets a 211 against a righty. That's a ground ball third base A. So he goes out five to three. And uh, Texas gets no runs in the first. We go to the bottom of the first inning. And uh, so Sorensen with a uh, with a clean first. And here is the 
I'll go through the, the Milwaukee lineup. The Milwaukee lineup will be Robin Yount playing shortstop and batting first. Then Don Money will be, I believe he is the, what is he? Maybe the first baseman. I think he's the first baseman today. Then uh, Sixto Lescano is playing right field. Cecil, Cecil, Cecil Cooper is playing first base. And at the cleanup spot, and there he is, Sal Bando is the third baseman for the Brewers from those great A's championship teams. Von Joshua will be playing center field for the Brewers. Jim Wolford, I believe, is a left fielder today. Charlie Moore will be the catcher. And Ken McMullen, I believe, is the DH. Yes, and we're back to Robin Young. And they will be facing Burt Be Home by 11. And there is his card. If you were curious what his card looks like, and he is, he in 1977 was uh, 14 and 12 with a 272 earned run average. So he had a much better year than Sorensen did. And again, that might be where the difference lies is in the pitching. I'm not sure. But anyway, here's Robin Young. And he gets a 27 against a righty, and that's going to be a single. Yount with a single. Um, let's see what his stealing is. He is a stealing B right now. We'll hold him there. Um, Don Money's up. He gets a 5-9. He is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball second base C. But it does move Yount over to second. Sixto Lescano is up. And he gets a 6'10". He is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop X. That's the first X we've had. The shortstop is a 2. That's Campanaris. And um, that is a 1. So that's probably going to be a base hit. 1-2 is a single 1 asterisk. So, yes. Runners will be at the corners with only one out. And Cecil Koopa up, and he gets a 4-12. 4-12, and he's, bat he's a lefty batter. And that is going to be a ground ball pitcher B. And um, so that is exactly what happens. The run scores, and they're... Uh, So a run comes in, and um, and Sal Bando is up with a man at first, and I think, yeah, and two down. And he gets a 6-4. He is a righty, and that is going to be a catcher card X, and that is a 6. And Blylevin's catcher is a 1, so that's probably an out right off the bat. And it is. So, um, he goes two to three, and the Milwaukee Brewers do get a, uh, they do get a run. So we'll give them a run here, and we go to the top of the second. Claudel Washington is up for the Rangers. And he gets a 5-10. He is a lefty against Sorensen. And that is going to be a double. That's a double. See, I think how they did it in the old days here before the, uh, you know, before the uh, ballpark effects was they would say, like, a home run if you have normal power 1-6 to six 
or a double. So uh, Mike Hardgrove, although they may still use that system even now. 211 for Mike Hardgrove. He is a lefty facing a right-handed pitcher, and he gets a ground ball third base B. Now no runners were forced there, so the runner holds. And Sunberg is and Sunberg gets a 311, and that's going to be a fly ball center field B. F8, and Campanaris is up. With a man at second and two down. And 4-6, he is a righty, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Campanaris strikes him out, and the... Uh, the Rangers get no runs in the uh, second inning. We go to the bottom of the second. And Von Joshua is up against Blylevin. He gets a 1-4. That's a ground ball pitcher B. There's one away. He goes 1-3. Wolford is the batter. He gets a 3-12. And that's going to be a foul out to the catcher. And that's two away. And Charlie Moore is the batter. And Charlie Moore gets a 4-9. And a 4-9 batting right is going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman for the um, Rangers is Wills. He's a 3. That is a 9. That might be an out. Nope. It's got to go to his E rating. I wonder if they had E ratings. They did, E17. So we're going to roll the dice and see what he gets. It's an 8 on an E17 at second base. And that is going to be a ground ball A. And so he is out. So he goes 4 to 3, and no runs come across. For Texas in the second, we're going to the top of the third now with the Brewers, the underdog, heavily underdog Brewers, although, again, they have a pretty good lineup, so I don't know why they were as bad as they were, but they are leading 1-0 here in the third, top of the third with Dave May up, and he getting a 1-4, and that is going to be a hit by pitch, yes, so Dave May gets on by getting hit by pitch. Bump Wills is up. He gets a 4-7, four, 4-7 seven, four, seven for a left-handed batter, as he would be batting, is a walk. So Sorensen puts the first two guys on base. And uh, clearly they were both his fault. He hit a batter, and then he walked the next guy. So two are on with no outs, and Benica is up. And he gets a 4-5. He is a righty, and that is going to be a pop-out to first base, one away. One down, two on, Hera up, and he gets a 4-12. He is a right-handed batter. That is fly ball C. Fly ball to, right, to um, center field. And Horton is up. Willie Horton. And Willie Horton gets a 6-7 batting right, and that is going to be a pop-out to first base. So... Despite getting the first two guys, the first two men of the inning on base with no outs, the Brewers still come away with nothing in the uh, third, and we go, or the uh, Rangers come away with nothing in the third. We go to the bottom of the third, and the Brewers are up with McMullen, the batter, and he gets a 110 against a right handed batter or pitcher, and he gets a fly ball center field, one away. And Robin Yount is the batter. Robin Yount gets a 2-7, and he's going to get another single. So Robin Yount today, 2 for 2 off of uh, Blylevin. One out, and Don Money up, and he gets a 1-3. And against a righty, that's going to be a fly ball left field B, 2 away. 
And right field, that is a nine. That's an F9. And Seek Toles Cano gets a six eight in batting right. And that is going to be a pop out to the shortstop. No runs come in for the Brewers. And we go to the top of the fourth. It's still only 1-0. And the Brewers are ahead of the Rangers. 1-0. Baudel Washington gets a 1-10 against a right-handed pitcher. And that's a fly ball to the right fielder. F9 and Mike Hardrock. Hargrove, the human rain delay, gets a 4-7, and that is, he's going to be batting left, and that would be a walk. So, Hargrove is aboard with a walk. Sorensen, the, the free passes here by Sorensen, you got to believe they're going to come back to haunt him sooner or later. Sunberg up 6-5, righty on righty, and that's going to be a fly ball center field. F8, and Burt Campanaris is the batter. And he gets a 5'11", and 5'11", for um, a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher, and he is, I think, back in the day, they were all considered to be fielding two, and that is going to probably be a base hit. Pitcher two, yes, single one asterisk. So Campanaris, is that Campanaris? Yeah, he gets a single. So two out, two runners on for Dave May. Dave May gets a six seven batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. So he gets out. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. With the score, one nothing. Milwaukee. Cecil Cooper is up, and he gets a 1-9 and against a right-handed pitcher, and that is going to be a single to right field. Cooper, with his first hit of the day, he hit into a fielder's choice the last time. Sal Bando gets a 1-5, but that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop double play. The old 6-4-3, and that brings Von Joshua to the plate. With two out and nobody on. And he gets a 3-3, which is a pop out to first base. And no runs come across. And we got a really good one here. It's 1-0 going to the top of the fifth. 1-0 with the Brewers ahead of the Rangers of 1977. With Bump Wills, the batter, back, back to the top of the lineup. And he gets a 3-9 against a righty, and that's going to be a single. So Bump Wills is aboard. Now, Bump Wills, he was a good base stealer. Let's see. Stealing A, so he is going to try it. And he is being watched, so it's negative 3, which knocks him down to a 1-12. And the arm, well, yeah, let's see if he is going to try it. Um, although Charlie Moore's arm at catcher is a plus two. So instead of being a one to 12, it's actually going to be a one to 14. So they're going to, they're going to try that. And he does make it. So he gets on and he steals second base. Now, if I did that wrong, you know what? I did it wrong. But... That's how I'm doing it for this game. That's all you really need to know. So there's a runner aboard at second base with Beniquez up. And he gets a 5-3. He is a righty uh, batting against Sorensen. And a 5-3 is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher B. Nobody is forced, so he just holds. So that's a 1-3. And Toby Hera is up with one down. And he gets a 5-7 batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the um, for the Brewers is Young. He is a 2. That's a 17. 
So I'm thinking that's an out, and it is. And uh, that's two away, six to three. And uh, Horton, Willie Horton is up. And he gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a single, but it's a split single, so it's only a one-base single. But they have runners at the corners now. They're threatening, and um, Claude L. Washington's up, and he gets a 6-6. Six, six. Left-handed batter, and that's going to be a fly ball right field B. So that is an F9, and I got to say, Sorensen is really pitching out of his butt for his how what his record was that year and what his ERA was. But anyway, we have Jim Wolford batting in the bottom of the fifth with his team up one nothing, and he gets a 4-6. That is a right on right, and that is going to be a single. So Wolford is aboard. Wolford gets a hit. He's aboard. No out. Charlie Moore is up. He gets a 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven. Five, seven for a right-handed batter is going to be a strikeout. Charlie Moore with the K. And uh, Ken McMullen is up. He gets a 6-5. He is a righty. Going up against the right-handed pitcher is a fly ball center field. F8 bringing up Robin Yount. And Robin Yount gets a 5-3. He is a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a fly ball right field X. The right fielder for Texas is Lascano. He is a 2. Or wait, no, that's Cincinnati or um, Milwaukee's. The right fielder is a 3. That's Dave May. And that's an 11. That could be something. Uh, 11 and 3 to a corner outfield. That's going to be on Dave May's um, fielding card. His E rating. And his E rating is an 11. So we're going to roll the uh, dice. That is a 7. So, um, an 11 and the roll of a 7 is an E2, and that puts runners at 2nd and 3rd. So, that was, who was that? Hargrove? That was, no, that was, yeah, that was, I think that was Hargrove, right? We were, no, no. That was money, right? Let's see. Yeah, that was money because Yount got on on the two-base error with a guy at first base. So that was an E7 and moves Wolford over to third. And now Don Money is the batter. Runners at second and third with... Two guys out and that is a three seven and three seven uh, against a righty is going to be a strikeout so they were knocking but they didn't quite bring in that second or third run with the way Sorensen is pitching would have been big but it still remains one nothing Milwaukee as we go to the top of the sixth inning and Hargrove the batter for the Texas Rangers who are losing one nothing and 4-9 is going to be, for a lefty, is going to be a single to left field. So, Hargrove with a single. Now, if you've been following Mismatch Monday, the, the uh, underdog team hasn't won very much at all. I mean, I think they've won like once. Four, maybe twice, maybe twice. 4-5 um, for Jim Sundberg against a righty is going to be a pop-out to first base. So that's a pop-out three. There's one down. And Campanaris up. Wait a minute. What are we in here? Campanaris is up in the sixth. Yeah, so we've completed five. And that is a four-eight. Four-eight for a righty. And uh, against that's going to be 
That's going to be a uh, line out to second base, two away. Could have been a single, but it didn't work out that way. So there's two down. And Dave May. And Dave May gets a 312, which is a line out max, line out to second base. Turns out just be one out because that's all they needed. So um, Texas gets no runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Milwaukee still holding a slim 1-0 lead. Sixto Lesgano gets a 4-7. And he is a righty going up against Burt Bly, 11 righty. And that is going to be a single. Sixto Lesgano works his way on with a hit. And Bly, 11 can't be believing this. Cecil Cooper is up. He gets a 2-7. And a 2-7 is going to be a strikeout. So Cooper strikes out. There's one down. Sal Bando's up. He gets a 4-6. And he is a righty, and that's a single to right field. That moves Lescano to second. We've got runners at first and second with one down and Von Joshua up. And he gets a 6-3. He is a left-handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman, X. And his second baseman is a 3. That is a 15. That could be something bad. Let's go second base, 15-3. And that is going to be a ground ball C, actually. Uh, it's not as bad as it could have been, but there is two outs now, and runners are at second and third. And Wolford's up. And Wolford gets a 5-5 right-handed batter, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. His shortstop is a 2. That's Campanaris. And that is an 18, probably going to be an out, and uh, it is. So he goes out 6-3. to three. And they come close to getting another run to tack onto their lead, but they don't. And so we're going to the seventh inning with the score one nothing Milwaukee this is a this is a real good one this is a good one right here um, bump wills is the batter he gets a six eight he's gonna be batting left and that is gonna be a single so bump wills the switch hitter gets a single to lead off the seventh inning Juan Beniquez gets a 6-8. He is a righty, and that's going to be a single to, to left field. So they've got the first two guys on again, because I think they had that situation before. Two guys on, no outs, and Toby Hera up, one of their best hitters. He gets a 6-6 six, six righty, and that's going to be a fly ball right field. One away. F9. And Willie Horton's up. Willie Horton gets a 1-6. And that is going to be, against a righty, that's going to be a single double asterisk. And scores a run. And so they do tie the game. Horton with a hit. That scores Wills. And now they've got runners at the corners. With one down, they're going to play for the double play with Washington up, though. And he gets a 2-7, which is a strikeout. So now there's two down. Runners are at the corners. The Rangers have tied the game, though, and Hargrove, the batter, and he gets a 1-4, which is a hit by pitch. And so the bases are full now. Bases full, two down. Sunberg up. He gets a 1-7, and he strikes out. So all they can do after all of that all of those base runners and all of that traffic is they tied the game at one. So we're going to go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And let's make sure we got that Texas did tie the game. Or not, actually, we're going to the, yes, we're going to the bottom of the seventh. And Charlie Moore is up. And he gets a 4-8. He is a righty. And that's going to be a walk. 
Charlie Moore getting on with a walk, so they're trying to come right back. They're saying, hey, you know what? We might be the underdog in this game, but we're actually a pretty good team. And again, looking at the lineup, they actually were. But that's going to be, from McMullen, that's going to be a ground ball, third base, double play. So he's going to get the, the uh, old 5-4-3 double play treatment. There's two down now and nobody on and Rod and out the batter. And he gets a 4-7. He is a righty. And that's going to be a line out to second base. Line out to four. And no runs come in. And we have a tie game going to the top of the eighth inning. And there's going to be a pitch, pitching change for the Brewers. Um, they are going to take Sorensen out. He pitched well, but he pitched seven innings. And he only pitched 147 innings that year. So the, uh, oh, wait a minute. I got, I put him on the wrong team. We don't want to do that. So who's going to be the new pitcher? Now, of course, this is the um, the basic set, so I only have 20 guys on this team. So they're going to bring in Bob McClure. Bob McClure in 1977 was 2-1 with a 254 earned run average, but it looks like he walked a lot of guys. But, hey, that's the option they've got right now. So we are in the top of the eighth in a tie game with Burt Campy Campanaris, the batter for the Rangers. And he gets a 2-5, and a 2-5 against a lefty is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So he goes 6-3. And Dave May is the batter. He gets a 1-4. That's going to be against a lefty. That's going to be a fly ball right field. F9, and there's two down very quickly, and Bump Wills is the batter. He gets a 4-12. He is batting right against McClure, and 4-12 is a ground ball pitcher B. So that's going to be a 1-3. to three. No runs come in for the Rangers. We go to the bottom of the eighth with Milwaukee up with Don Money. Don Money gets a 5-8. Bly Levin is still out there because, of course, Bly Levin, he was a workhorse. He was a Hall of Fame workhorse. And that's going to be a fly ball left field. So Money flies out to 7. One down quickly. Sixto Lescano's up. He gets a 3-9. That is going to be a single. So Lescano gets a board with a hit. They have had a little bit of success here against Bly Levin. Enough so far. And that's a 3-6 for Cooper against a righty. And that's going to be a single. So they got, the, they got the next two guys on after the first out. And Sal Bando the batter. Sal Bando gets a 2-10 against a righty. That's a fly ball left field. So he flies out to 7. And that leaves it up to Von Joshua to try to knock in a run here and put them ahead. He gets a 3-4, and that's going to be a line out to second base. So we go to the top of the ninth. Here it is, the ninth inning of this game. And uh, McClure is still out there. He pitched 71 innings. And also, like I said, this is the old school 20 players on a team set. So I don't have a lot of relievers sitting out there. Out there. Benitez gets a 3-8 against the lefty. And that's going to be a walk. So Benitez works a walk. And we're in the ninth. Yeah, so let's make sure we let everybody know that. Toby Hara. Toby Hara gets a 3-6. you got to believe that's bad, and it is. It's a walk. So the first two guys have reached. And not only that, but McClure himself has a lot of walks on his card. 
There's no outs. Runners at first and second. And that is a 4-7. He is a righty. And that is going to be a single to right field. Now the question is, do we send Beniquez? Probably you would think you're going to send Beniquez. He is a running 1-17. to So let's see. That would be to left field. The left fielder's arm for the Brewers is Wolford. And you got to believe that's not good. His arm is a plus one, so it would be one to 18 trying to score. I'm going to say, yeah, they're going to try that, and they do, and they score the run, and there's still no outs. I don't know why I moved the out marker, but Beniquez did score, and Hargrove comes up with runners at first and second, and nobody out, or no, no, Claudel Washington had Hargrove. And he gets a 1-9, one 1-9 nine, one nine against a lefty, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Washington strikes out, and that's the first out. But runners are still at first and second, and, uh, and um, the Rangers have a run. So they've taken a 2-1 to one lead, and Hargrove gets a 3-2, which is a ground ball, third base B. That gets the runner going a second. It's a fielder's choice. Runners are at the corners with two down and Sunberg up. And he gets a 4-5. He is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a single double asterisk. And that's going to knock in another run. So it's all falling apart here for Milwaukee as the Rangers get another run. And it's 3-1. to one. And Burt Campanaris is the batter. And he gets a 6-5. He is a righty. And uh, that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. Their shortstop is a 2. That, that can't be good. That is a 7. So an E28 at shortstop. And a roll of 7. Is going to be an E1. And another run scores, and the wheels have just really come off here. Campanaris gets on by an E6, which scores another run. And Texas gets their fourth run. And that brings up Dave May. Dave May gets a 6-12, 6-12 for a lefty. And that's going to be a fly ball right field B. I believe that is the last out. Yes, it is the last out, but it comes after three runs score and give the Rangers a 4-1 to one lead going into the bottom of the ninth. And they will take Bly Levin out now because he did give up a run. He doesn't really have a shutout to go for here. And they're going to bring bring in they're going to bring in Paul Lindblad. Now, in 1977, he was four and five with a 418 earned run average, but he pitched 99 innings. So he will be the new bat, the uh, new pitcher. And Jim Wolford is the batter, and he gets a 59. He is a righty against a lefty, so 59, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. Their shortstop is a, um, he is a two as well, and that's a five, and that's probably going to be an out. And it is. So Wolford goes six to three. There's one down. And the batter is Charlie Moore. He gets a six five. He is a righty. And that's going to be a home run. So Charlie Moore goes deep. He hits a home run. Milwaukee trying a little bit of a comeback here. It's 4-2. to two. Ken McMullen is the batter. He gets a 6-4. He is a righty. That's going to be a catcher card X. Um, catcher card for the... Uh, yeah, he's a 1. 
That's a seven. Seven and one at catcher is going to be a pop out. So McMullen pops out. Pop out to two. There's two down. And it's all up to the top of the lineup with Young. And he gets 2-7, which is a single. Yeah, it's still single. So Young on the day, he's had two hits. No, three hits. He's been three for five. And Don Money is the batter. And he gets a 4-2. He is a righty. And that's going to be a fly ball, center field C, and that will end it. So your final score here from Milwaukee County Stadium. The 1977 Rangers have defeated the 1977 Brewers in what turned out to be a hell of a game by the score of 4-2. to two.